Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, we are living in the last days. People are calling good evil and evil good. And if you are the one that speaks out against this evil and stand with the God of the Bible, you are the one that is called evil. What's happening right now all over the world is recorded in scripture as exactly what it would look like in the last days. I'm going to go back to what the Apostle Paul records in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 28 to 32. Listen to this very carefully. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. I think it's pretty safe to say that people have been given over to a reprobate mind because everything we just read on that list right now, again, not only are people doing those things, but again, they are having pleasure in them that do them. That brings me to what I want to share with you guys today. I saw many different sources reporting on this, but this is recently in from Newsmax. Recent article titled, Texas Christian University Offers Drag Course. You heard that correct, folks. A Texas Christian University is offering a drag course. And actually, if you look right at their website, Texas Christian University, it says that they are affiliated with the Christian church. Let me read some of this to you folks. Texas Christian University offered a queer art of drag course for the spring 2023 semester that required students create drag personas and give a performance. The course was offered by the school's Women and Gender Studies Department and was taught by Dr. Nino Testa, also known by his drag persona, Maria Von Clapp. Drag is an art form with a rich history of challenging dominant norms and systems of oppression, building queer community, and cultivating experiences of queer joy in a hostile world. But drag has also been deployed in service of violent ideologies and can sometimes participate in harmful normative logics. The Culture website reads, critical drag explores drag performance as an outlet for social critique, pedagogy, and queer world-making. According to the syllabus, students enrolled in the course had to create a drag persona by making a drag vision board, a bibliography, a worksheet, an in-class lip-sync performance, a storyboard, and a final performance. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, folks. You just had Texas Christian University, which just offered a drag course for the spring 2023 semester. And part of their syllabus before they complete the course is they actually had to do a final drag performance. So not only do you have this LGBTQ and drag stuff, you know, all over our schools now, all over, all over the world, and you know, the little kids and even toddlers are sitting there for a drag story hour being exposed to this garbage and corrupting their little brains when their brains are not fully developed yet. And you wonder why little boys and girls are confused on what gender they are because they're being exposed to such, this, this junk at such a young age. But now uh, you have, again, places that are saying they're affiliated with the Christian church like Texas Christian University, which is actually doing courses on drag performances. 
But this should not surprise us. The Apostle Paul said, this is exactly what it would look like in the last days. People have been given over to a reprobate mind. They are calling good evil and evil good. They are doing things like this and having pleasure in them that do them. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary so you could be forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.